A father and son business working out of a small shop in Dinwiddie County. They're finding success around the world. In tonight's Wayne's World, senior reporter Wayne Colville shows us their specialty. It's all new at 11. We work seven days a week. The demand is just crazy. Secluded in the woods of southern Dinwiddie County. It's great working from home. It's great being able to make a living doing this, and it's what I love to do. And working with family. It is great working with dad, and everybody wants to grow up and do what their dad does. And what they do is a skill few people have. We started uh, making tomahawks in 2012. That's right, tomahawks. This one is a good utilitarian going camping, hiking, stuff like that, trapping. But there's more to this story. This is a 19-inch fireman's hatchet. Than just a sharp blade. The first thing you should know from this shop in DeWitt. I ship my tomahawks all over the world. And as for the 50 states. Honestly, I would say all of them. The second thing you should know. Absolutely, they're made to be used. They're all made by hand. And by hand, everything. Start to finish. So we take a piece of one inch square stock, 4140, about five inches long, and we'll start with the drift, and we'll get that drift through there for the handle, and then we forge out the blade. It's hot, time consuming, takes a good eye, and great skill. As for the final phase, it takes lots of patience. We grind the profile of it and lay the bevel for the edge. But to get to this finished product takes years. I was probably 14. From there. Well, it started off as a hobby, and it was a hobby for, for a decade or more. Actually, I was a mechanic most of my life, and then I was an insurance agent. But in 2012, Mark and his then 14-year-old son were in it full time. And some of McCown Tomahawk's best customers. The special forces and a lot of military contractors carry them. Came about by accident. My first contractor, military contractors that I hooked up with were through eBay. My first Army Rangers were through eBay. My first Navy SEALs, my first recon guys were all through eBay. And what they said was they just, there was no good place to find a handmade Tomahawk and they had heard about our stuff or my stuff then on eBay. And here is a combat pole. Um, a lot of these would get carried by the military guys overseas. They either go on their side or they go on their pack. But there's a wide variety the two bladesmiths make right here. We have ones that are more geared towards camping, hiking, that sort of thing. We have ones that are made to be carried into combat. And we have some that are specifically designed for throwing. And while some businesses suffered when COVID-19 shut down about everything. My sales doubled the first three months of COVID. As with any business. This is a small chef's knife. You have to look forward and not at the past. I want to start a line, um, McCown Tool and Axe. And well, well, you'll have kitchen cutlery, maybe carving knives, full-size axes, things that aren't considered weapons. And when you buy one, just don't hang it on the wall for decoration. They're made to be used and abused. The McCowns only use hickory or curly maple for their handles because of the strength. Both Mark and Dylan, big supporters of the U.S. military, donating a tomahawk and knife set each month to someone on active duty.